Hey guys, this is Hydra from Max Trades back with another weekly video. And um, yeah, to start off, we're just going to go through the um, indexes. So QQQ, take a look at this first. So yeah, overall, this week was a pretty bullish week. Uh, let me draw a downtrend line here. Currently, we are testing this downtrend line, which is very important, right? We want to see a break. Um, and this can be the first time we actually break in almost an entire year, right? So this is a very key, we're, we're at a very key level right now. And ideally we, what we want to see is uh, this uh, level on, um, what was it? Uh, Wednesday get taken out. So this uh, 283 level is where we rejected on Wednesday. And if we can take that out, there's a good chance that we could have uh, a major a major rally in the coming weeks and months, right? Um, and this could be the start of a new uptrend. So this is a very, we're, we're at a very uh, important level. And yeah, this 283 level, 284 level is very important. And we want to see that, we want to see that get taken out. So on Wednesday, initially, it was looking, uh, was looking a little bad because we pulled back in pretty hard. Uh, we pulled back in harder than we were expecting, right? We wanted this uh, consolidation level to hold. And on Thursday, we actually gapped down. And uh, yeah, we were testing uh, back to like Monday or last Friday's uh, last Friday's uh, low, and that wasn't a good sign. And uh, but on Friday, we were able to um, we were able to come back and bounce uh, pretty hard here. And now we're again above this trend line. But again, we want to see this 283 level, 284 level to get taken out for um, confirmation. And on spy, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Um, you just want to see this. 399 to 400 level get taken out and we are pretty much in a confirmed uh uptrend at least for now in the short term so again a uh, big big term picture we bottomed all the way in october we tried to rally uh we got rejected but we build higher lows right so this could be seen as a head and shoulders this is the head this is a shoulder here and this is another shoulder here right and uh yeah if we take this uh 399 400 level out then there's a good chance that we can make a big move back up and uh, the first target would be uh, 410 and then another resistance 417 and then another level at the 430 level um, but yeah right now everything's looking pretty good and I think next week could be uh, a pretty bullish week as long as we don't have any big distribution days uh, days with uh, a lot of selling volume uh, as long as we're pulling back on light volume and going up on increased volume, that's very important. And you want to, yeah, if, if we can see that, there's a good chance that we can continue trending up. So now we'll go into some individual names. So uh, first up, we'll take a look at Netflix. So Netflix reported earnings this week. Um, had a, yeah, it had a very nice report. It gapped up eight point, or it gapped up and then we ended up the day with 8.5% uh, gain. So yeah we finally uh, we we filled this gap uh and now we're actually above it for the first time since uh yeah this uh this gap we got down last uh, april and yeah now we're finally above this gap and uh, this is very good price action for netflix right the stock is acting great and i would say uh next resistance level would be around this uh, 360 level, right? It's a good chance that we can go, we can rally all the way up to that point, and then we should see another pullback. And then uh, this is the other trend line here. This one's not as clean; doesn't have that many touches, so um, not that great of an indicator. But this one is uh, pretty clear, right? Every time it touches, it rejects. So a uh, good chance that we can uh, rally all the way up to this trend line and then see a rejection. But yeah, right now Netflix is looking pretty good. Uh, really uh, nice volume. Uh, yeah, nice volume on Friday. And uh, yeah, good chance that we could rally. We want to see a consolidation day and then a break above that. And yeah, Netflix should be a good setup for next week. Then we'll take a look at uh, Google. So Google had a really nice uh, Friday. Closed very strong, closed uh, yeah, basically near highs. Really nice volume surge. So everything's looking good here. Um, yeah, Google is having Google had a great week overall, and uh, next resistance level is like the ninety nine, yeah, around ninety nine point seven, or we could just say a hundred for the psychological level. 
and um, yeah, ideally, let me draw out this uh, downtrend line. So yeah, Google actually did end up taking out the uh, downtrend line here. So next target should be 100. And then ideally after that, we could see a move up to 105. And then if we can get past 105, then we really start, uh, we, we can actually start making a pretty big move, right? No resistance till 120. So um, ideally you want to see Google move up here and then consolidate, build out a flag and then break out. And then um, yeah, so right now Google is one of the few uh, big caps, uh, big cap tech stocks that has broken its uh, downtrend line, at least for the short term. Um, but yeah, Google looking pretty good. Next up, we'll look at Coin. So Coin had a very nice week as well. Look at this volume, right? This is uh, it's definitely some institutions buying up the stock since uh, we bought them th um, uh, earlier this month. And it's been moving really nicely, right? Um, we almost, or yeah, we almost doubled um, since the bottom so far. And uh, there's a good chance that this could hit 60 next uh, week. So ideally, we just want to see this uh, this resistance level get taken out. And this can easily see move to 60, where um, it would be met with uh, much more resistance. So every, yeah, this is a key level for, uh, for Coinbase. So ideally, when we get to 60, you want to see a flag forming. You want to see it getting pulled back on lower volume. And uh, if that happens, that could be a good action. And uh, that, that would be a stock that I would, I would be looking for for the break of 60. And after we break 60, next target would be uh, 75. And then, yeah. So yeah, right now, Coinbase is looking pretty good. There's definitely a lot of buying going on and this can uh, squeeze a lot harder. Uh, next up. So this is uh, a not so popular name. This is a name that I caught uh, during my scanning process. And this is a name that's been acting uh, very well recently. And this name is like, yeah, pretty much at all time highs. Uh, it had a lot of resistance back in 2020 and 2021, but now we're basically back there and we're on there with the big volume right this is not normal buying this is institutions buying so this is a name that i'm definitely paying attention to um so capped up really hard on this day consolidated nicely pulled back in lower volume great action and uh, on this day it was actually a very nice buy setup it was a two-day flag mini flag and then on friday it was a buy but um yeah ideally you want to see a pullback to this uh, prior level and this could be a good buy at that level so you want to see a flag forming and then a buy at $30 uh, or 30.5 this uh, support level and if that happens that could be a good buy and then um, yeah ideally this one can push out uh, take out this longer term resistance at uh, yeah this one can uh, it can easily move up to 33 and then it should be met with some longer term resistance and then consolidate flag and then build out and then uh yeah break out once more so this one is looking really good really nice volume right a volume is key right when you see volume like this this is a very clear sign that institutions are buying and you want to you want to be putting your money with theirs right so um yeah this is a, a stock that we should be paying attention to next up rmbs so this is another stock that isn't too popular, but this one's been acting very, very well recently as well. Um, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Uh, yeah, so this one's just been acting incredibly well. Um, yeah, and there was no downtrend for this stock at all, right? Ever since, like, yeah, ever since even earlier, like 2020. Actually, yeah, it only started 2021. So, yeah, ever since it, the stock IPO'd. It's been acting really well, right? No major downtrend at all. Uh, if anything, it's just been consolidating. But ever since 2021, it's just been in a very steady uptrend and it's been acting very well compared to the market. And uh, yeah, this was a nice bull flag setup to take on the weekly chart. But um, right now, this is a clear leader in the semiconductor space. And uh, it's forming a very nice flag setup right now. So this could be a setup for next Monday. Uh, you just want to see that resistance level get taken out. It pretty much is it's it pretty much close at that level, but 
um, yeah, you want to see that resistance level get taken out and this one should be good to go. And again, take a note of the volume, right? Look at all those green bars and look how much, and look how they are greater than the red bars in terms of volume. That is a good sign. And that's a sign that uh, people are buying more than they are selling. And um, yeah, the stock overall looks uh, very good. That's up AEHR. So this is a stock that I covered last week as well. Um, again, I'm covering the stock for a reason. The stock has been showing incredibly, or has been showing incredible strength all throughout the year very nice volume bunch of accumulation showing in the chart itself and uh yeah this one's been acting really well new all-time highs on uh yeah last friday and um yeah this one's a very strong name and a name that you want to watch for a pullback so uh, last week it offered a nice opportunity to buy at the 27 level but um yeah you can wait for uh, some sort of bull flag to form consolidate on lower volume for one to two days and then, uh, yeah, if it takes out that flag, then it could be a good buy. But right now, yeah, this is a leader stock and the name that you want to be paying attention to, for sure. Next up, Tesla. So uh, Tesla, I was also talking about last week. We finally got that 124 break and we got to see a, a good squeeze, right? We went all the way up to 137 on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, still, it's acting uh, pretty well right now. Um, we definitely broke the short-term downtrend, right? We broke it a while ago, actually. Uh, this was the short-term downtrend, but right now we're building a solid uptrend, and so far it's holding up pretty well. Um, and yeah, there is no real resistance to this 157 level. Um, and yeah, this would be, uh, ideally you wanna see it um, form some sort of consolidation there's a mini flag forming here uh not a great flag but mini flag forming and uh, if you can take it out that could be a buy but ideally i would wait for a better setup a uh, better flag to form and then this could be uh, a stock that i'd be paying attention to okay last stock uh, pdd so we'll take a look at some china names so china names they pulled back in um last friday or last week and overall, they've been consolidating pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, nothing going wrong with them. Uh, they're acting pretty well. They're, they consolidated nicely and they pulled back in nicely. All healthy action so far. And right now they're consolidating. And yeah, we can. Th there's a flag forming right now on PDD. And ideally, we can tighten up, uh, get one or two more days of consolidation and then break off for the next move up. And uh, yeah, overall, other China names are acting pretty well as well. Uh, we can take a look at yeah, so Baba is another China name that's been acting pretty well. Baidu is also another name that's acting pretty well. And then there's also the smaller caps like TME um, that are also forming pretty well, forming a bull flag here. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in.